the best free 24 by 7 minecraft server hosting is here and also before starting please do subscribe since we are very close to 6k subscribers and now let's start the video okay so the free server hosting which we will be using for making our free minecraft server is called magma node okay so first of all just come on to the official website of magma node and after coming here just make sure to log in or register into this website and to do that just click on this top right button right here and then from here you can log in or register so if you are a new user you can simply click on register but since i already have an account into this website so I will simply log in from here and now after logging in just again come to the home page and after coming here just scroll down and here click on the try for free and then you will see an interface like this and here in this box you need to enter the name of your server and after entering it from here you need to select the game of your server so of course for this video we're going to make a minecraft server and here you can see a lot of options from minecraft so let me explain you all of these options so if you want to make a java edition server then you can simply choose minecraft java from here but if you want to make a bedrock edition server in which you can add plugins or add-ons then you you can choose pocket find from here and if you want to make a java edition as well as bedrock edition server then you can simply choose kaiser mc from here so for this video i'm going to make a java edition server so i'll choose java from here and after that just click on the create button right here and as you can see you'll come onto this interface and after coming here just scroll down and basically from here we need to select the software of our server so first off here you can see a lot of softwares for your server like paper purple spigot and many more but what i recommend to you is paper spigot as it will give you the best fps in the game so just choose paper spigot from here and then scroll down and from here we need to select the version of our server so you can choose the latest version from here but i'll choose 1.20.6 from here so click on select version right here and now as you can see your server has been created so now if you scroll down here you can see your server and to open the panel just click on the manage button right here and then you will see an interface like this and this is now the main panel of our server and to open the main panel of our server just click on this button right here and now here basically you need to log in with your email and password so here you need to enter the same email and password that you entered in this server hosting and after that just click on the blue login button right here and after that this is the main panel of our server and here you can see your server so to open the panel just click on your server and to start your server from here just click on this blue start button you can also restart your server from here and you can also stop it from here and below these buttons you can see the ip of your server and in the ending of this ip you can see the port of your server and by clicking on this ip you can also copy it into your clipboard and then just share this ip with your friends and family whom you want to play with and if you scroll down here this is the main console of our server so from here you can use a lot of commands into the server and now guys if you want to make this server joinable for cracked minecraft then you need to change an important setting and to do that just click on the files tab right here and here basically you can see all the files and folders of your server so here just find the server.properties file as you can see right here and then just click on this file and here inside this file you can see all the settings of your server which you can change from here so to enable cracked mode just search online mode and in the 37th line you will see the online mode setting this setting will be on true so just set this from false to true as i did and also just above it here you can see the motd of your server motd is basically the description of your server which comes in the game launcher so you can customize it from here and also above it you can see the maximum player setting so you can increase this to a bigger number and also if you want to add a seed into your server then you can simply do it from this 28th line setting level seed so you can basically add any seed here and then guys after changing all of these settings just don't forget to click on the save content button right here otherwise your changes will not be saved and now let's come back again to the console tab and from here just restart your server again so as to see the changes in your server and now guys i'll just open my game to show you that the server is actually working so as you can see i have opened my game and after opening your game let's click on the multiplayer button and here as you can see that i have already added my server so if i click on the edit button as you can see it is the same ip as my server and now let's join the server and that's how you make a free minecraft server and that's it for today's video